Le ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much indeed for that uh, kind introduction and warm welcome. Um, I haven't had to travel through many different time zones to get here, so I will try to be sensitive to those that have. I've only had to come from central London. But I have to say, coming to somewhere like this from central London, it does seem like a different time zone. So well done on this choice of location, and well done too on the weather. Uh, it's, it's been said that we're enjoying an Indian summer in, in Britain. I never quite understand that uh, use of that phrase, having been in India in the summer. It does seem to me very, very different, uh, the weather. But nevertheless, the weather is, is very kind at the moment. So it, it, it's great to be here and to see such, such a range of people engaged on this very important agenda. And it's good to have had some time to look at uh, some of the stalls outside and to talk to people about what you're doing. And I understand that you had a, a very interesting and productive day yesterday with stellar speakers and panel discussions. So that sounds absolutely fantastic. I'd like to take this opportunity to impart some of our government's thinking on the international climate negotiations and the role for business. As has been said, we are at a very important time. In just over 80 days, world leaders will be gathering in Paris to hammer out, we hope, a global climate deal. The clock is ticking. In my brief remarks today, and I wish I could stay uh, longer, but I'm sure you'll understand because of those important negotiations and because of the very, very uh, packed agenda that we have in the uh, Ministry in Energy and Climate Change that I, I do need to get back. But in, in my brief remarks today, I'd like to set out three things. First, what the United Kingdom wants from a deal in Paris and whether our expectations will be met. Second, what business can do to support a deal before, during, and after the Paris talks. And third, how existing action in the real economy presents a wealth of opportunity for those who innovate, drive change, and are enterprising. So let me start with my expectations for the climate talks in Paris. 